This is prickly pear. It's very common all over Texas and very common in Travis County. This species in particular is Apuntia inglemanii, variety Lindheimerii. Those are two botanist names. Uh, and it's by far the most common in Travis County. And it's everywhere in Texas, except for more in the north and the east. It's not really there. The common names for this species would be cactus apple or Engelmann's prickly pear. Now, you've probably heard prickly pears are edible. And you can, you can see these are young little prickly pears developing here. But an interesting thing I found out about this is that uh, the buds are actually edible too and are kind of an important food resource. These are the buds right here. You can see the flowers there and the developing fruit underneath. And apparently the Cahuila and the Panamint Indians, both of Southern California, would use this, the buds as a food resource, but they would uh, need to cook them first. Another really important use of this plant, especially this time of year, would be the stems. As you can see right now, they're very, poke myself, very uh, tender and soft. And this time of year, early spring in particular, is less food resources, so they would use this as a sort of time uh, to buy them over in the time of scarcity. And they would cut them up and dice them, boil them, or eat them fresh. And both this and the buds would be dried and stored. So uh, the Cahuila name for this species would be Quexili. Quexi, Quexili. <laughs> Probably butchering that. Uh, the Papago name would be Nohui. And for prickly pears in general, the Apache name would be Goltice or Goltis. And Comanche called prickly pears Wokwesi. <laughs> so uh, let's gather some buds here and I'll show you how they remove the spines and process them. See, you can gather a ton of food in a short time. A very small skin, but some of the larger ones look nice and fleshy. Fewer spines per surface area. Oh no. It's like operational. Mm -hmm. Indians removed spines by brushing them with a grass brush or rubbing them on sandy soil or buckskin or uh, using gloves. Here I used a natural fiber skin brush instead. I did the buds the same way, except the on the stems you need to remove the larger spines manually.
to have these in the oven for 12 hours. Let's see how they look. I wrapped it in foil to sort of mimic the earth oven. Hey, looking pretty good. The smell actually pretty dang good. Hmm. It's pretty good, actually. Wow. They're really good. And so, like, substantial, too. They don't have, I see why they're Kohili eat these, because they don't have any of the seeds. Most prickly pear fruits have these big, really hard seeds. You want to close to see that? See, that's the flower bud there. And this is would call the pedicel flavor. They get a little bit mucilaginous. I guess a little bit like asparagus, but way better. Yeah, I could eat a ton of these. And they seem like really nutritious. But yeah, I'm actually surprised they're pretty damn good. Got a nice little roasted flavor to them as well. Really useful food resource because these are absolutely everywhere and really easy to collect a ton of good food. Well, I'm convinced the Cahuilo are onto something with this. I think I'm going to add them to some tacos or something tonight. I fully appreciate these prickly pear buds. Your dinner is served.